This indicator is one of the best indicators to use when scalping. This powerful indicator unlocks a hidden realm of insights, providing you with a clear view of the market while scalping. The indicator we are talking about is the Heiken Ashi RSI Oscillator which is a highly versatile indicator that shows us the trend direction, trend reversals, entry and exit signals, overbought and oversold zones and many other market patterns. In today's video, we will be showing you exactly how the indicator can be read and how it can be used to enter into positions along with a profitable scalping strategy that utilizes the indicator. Let's first add the indicator to the chart. Head over to the Indicator Search tab and search for the Harsi Indicator. Select the indicator made by Jay Rogers and add it to the chart. Now let's head over to the Indicator Settings tab, as you can see there are many settings that can be changed. The first of which is the length of the indicator, you can increase or decrease this depending on the length which you want to give the RSI indicator. As you can see by increasing this value, the indicator becomes less sensitive and less precise. However, if we decrease the value the indicator becomes a lot more sensitive to the price movements. Since we will be showcasing the indicator on a lower time frame, we will change the value to 10. The next setting is the open smoothing. By increasing the value of the open smoothing it increases the bias towards the prior open value, helping provide better visualizations for the strength of the trend, because of this let's change the smoothing value to 5. If we scroll further, we can see that there is also a setting for changing the length of the RSI plot. Finally, you can also add a stochastic RSI to the indicator, however we won't be using it so we will be keeping these settings at default. Now that we have changed the input settings, we will be changing the style settings. Here we will first be removing the RSI histogram, overlay, and shadow. After that, we will be removing all of the components of the stochastic indicator. That was all that we needed to do. The indicator has three components, the first component of the indicator is the RSI Heiken Ashi candlesticks. These candlesticks display a modified version of price action, smoothing out the noise and making it easier to identify trends and reversals. The second component are the overbought and oversold zones, these are the green and red zones that are plotted at the 20 level and the minus 20 level. Whenever the candlesticks reach these zones, we consider the market overbought or oversold. The final component is the center line. The center line is set at a value of zero. This line represents the equilibrium or middle point between bullish and bearish momentum. When the oscillator crosses above the center line, it indicates that bullish momentum is gaining strength and may suggest a potential uptrend. And whenever the oscillator crosses below the center line, it suggests that bearish momentum is increasing indicating a potential downtrend. It's first important to understand how the indicator can be read, the easiest and most straightforward way of reading the indicator involves looking for oversold or overbought signals. Whenever the candlesticks on the oscillator reach the overbought zone it indicates that a pause might occur in the uptrend or that a bearish reversal might start playing out. On the other hand, whenever the candlesticks on the oscillator reach the oversold zone it indicates that a pause might occur in the downtrend, or that a bullish reversal might start to play out. There are also extreme overbought and extreme oversold levels, these are zones that indicate a stronger signal than the regular overbought and oversold zones. The extreme overbought level has a value of 30, whenever the Heiken Ashi candlesticks reach this level it indicates that there is a high chance of the price making a bearish reversal. Conversely, the extreme oversold zone is at the minus 30 level, and if the Heiken Ashi candlesticks reach this zone it indicates that there is a high chance of a bullish reversal occurring. This is the most straightforward way of reading the indicator, however other methods can be even more profitable. One of these methods involves looking for differences between the price action and the indicator. Here we can see an example of this. The price was making higher highs, while the Heiken Ashi candlesticks were making lower highs, this shows us that a bearish divergence is playing out, making it likely that a trend reversal to the downside may occur. If we take a look at the price action after the move was made we can see that this indeed was the case. Here we can see that the price is making lower lows, however, if we look at the Harsi oscillator we can see that the candlesticks are making higher lows, indicating that the lows that the price is making are weak, making it likely for a bullish reversal to take place. By looking at the price action after the bullish divergence formed, we can see that the price made a strong reversal in the upward direction. 
In order to create a strategy where we can enter into positions using the Heiken Ashi RSI oscillator, let's add a few extra indicators to the chart. The first indicator we will be adding to the chart is the EMA. Navigate to the Indicator Search tab and search for the EMA indicator. Select the indicator made by TradingView and add it to the chart. The next indicator we will be adding is the Volume Indicator. Search for the Volume Indicator, after that select the Volume Indicator made by TradingView and add it to the chart. Now let's change the indicator settings. Navigate to the EMA Indicator Settings and click on the Input tab, now change the value of the EMA to 200. Next click on the Style tab, here we will be changing the color of the indicator to make it more visible. Now let's head over to the Volume Indicator Settings, here we will be changing the EMA length to 30. Once you have done that head over to the Style Settings and enable the Moving Average, in order to make the line easier to see we will also be changing the color to white. That was all that we needed to do. First we will be using the 200 period EMA to determine the trend of the market, based on if the price is trading above or below the EMA. Next, we will be using the Heiken Ashi RSI oscillator to find the exact point to enter into a position. Finally, we will be using the volume indicator to determine if there is enough volume in the market to enter into the position. Here we can see that the price is in an uptrend, we know this because we can see that the price is trading above the 200 period EMA. However, we can also see that the price just made a pullback to the EMA, after which a bullish candle was printed which is a bullish signal. If we look at the Heiken Ashi RSI oscillator, we can also see that it was indicating that the market was oversold, along with this we can see that the candlesticks have now left the oversold zone and turned green, indicating that the price is starting to head in the upward direction again. Finally, there is also a bullish volume bar that was printed, we can see that the bar on the volume oscillator surpasses the 30 period moving average, showing us that there is enough bullish volume in the market to push the price further in the upwards direction. Because of these signals, let's enter into the buy position. We will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing low. For the take profit, we will be targeting a 2 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. We can also enter into trades without using the EMA, here we can see that the price is in a downtrend, we know this because we can see that the price is making lower lows. However, if we look at the Heiken Ashi RSI oscillator we can see that higher lows are being made, indicating that the price is due for a bullish correction. Along with this, we can see that the red candlesticks reached the oversold zone before switching to green. Finally, we can also see that there is enough volume in the market because of the bullish volume bars being larger than the white moving average. Because of these signals, let's enter into the buy position here. We will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing low. For the take profit, we will be targeting a 2 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. In the current market scenario, we can see a downward price trend as the price remains below the 200 period EMA, indicating a bearish market sentiment. However, a recent pullback to the EMA occurred, followed by the formation of a large bearish candle, which further strengthens the bearish signal. Analyzing the Heiken Ashi RSI oscillator, we note that it indicated an extremely overbought market condition. Simultaneously, the green candlesticks turned red right after leaving the overbought zone, signaling a potential downward movement in price. Moreover, a bearish volume bar was also recorded, surpassing the 30-period moving average on the volume oscillator. This implies that there is sufficient bearish volume present in the market to drive the price further downward. Considering these combined signals, it is advisable to enter a sell position at this point. To manage risk, we will set the stop loss at the recent swing high. For the take profit level, we will aim for a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio. Now, let's closely monitor the trade's progress and observe how it plays out. As you can see the Heiken Ashi RSI oscillator can be used in many different ways to enter into profitable positions. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment.